Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, people of the world. My name is Queen Sylvie Seven. I have a word from the Lord, and he is saying a tidal wave is coming, and it's huge. Um, blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Holy Spirit said three times. Three times. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Then I heard the birds, the birds of the air. I feed them. Though they do not store up in barns, for your heavenly Father knows what you need before you ask. So you have not because you ask not. The Lord wants you to ask him, what is on the Father's heart for you? To ask him for it so that he could give it to you. So say, Lord, what should I ask for? What is on your heart to bless me? God said, please ask me in faith. In faith. Without doubting that you have already received in spirit what is yet to come to you naturally yes naturally supernatural acceleration is on my heart to answer the prayers of my children says God father give us the mind and heart of your beloved son Jesus Christ so that we can be the hands and feet of Jesus the way Jesus was and still is not our own version of Jesus and who we think he is, but help us, Lord, to walk, talk, think, act, and love others the way that Jesus does it all with a real compassion for your people, O oh God. Please keep us from stumbling blocks set up by the enemy to trip us up excuse me, and even to send, and even sent to kill us. But the Lord is on our side. Yes, the Lord is with us, fighting our battles, declaring our victories and calling us victorious. No weapon formed against us shall prosper in Jesus' mighty matchless name. Now, I'm going to explain what tidal wave, the definition of it is in a tidal wave is an exceptionally large, highlighted, exceptionally large ocean wave, waves, these waves of blessings, they're tidal waves, okay? These are blessings, Holy Spirit said, blessing, it was a whisper that I heard, blessings upon blessings upon blessings. And in my own mind, I thought, those are not my thoughts. <laughs> those are higher than my thoughts because I wanted to stop after he said two blessings because after the third one, I'm like, it, that's probably just me just making that up. I'm like, no, that's not me because that's too much for me to say that. And so you see Holy Spirit is trying to get it through our minds that it's not too big. We don't want, he doesn't want us to put limitations on our prayers, on our expectations for the things he has on his heart to do for us. Okay, the Spirit of the Lord is upon us in this hour and he wants us to ask him generously to bless us generously blessings upon blessings upon blessings three times okay 
just reiterating to get it to 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 stick in your heart in your mind that you receive it wholeheartedly in Jesus name amen and then it says especially for the the rest of what it says for tidal wave especially one caused by in now the tidal wave is especially one caused under by an underwater earthquake or volcanic eruption volcanic eruption has anybody god wanted me to ask has anybody been erupting underneath the surface like within yourself going through earthquakes volcanic eruptions these are metaphors that is the cause of this the manifestation thank you holy spirit of this new this exceptionally large wave coming waves thank you holy spirit plural with an s more than one tidal wave these are big waves blessings upon blessings upon blessings and then it also says it that a, a tidal wave is a widespread or overwhelming manifestation highlighted word manifestation of an emotion or phenomenon so uh, what god is imparting to you through this word is that he is doing a new thing within your spirit in your walk with the lord with jesus christ he's holding your hand fear not for i am with you take heart for jesus has all i have already overcome the world the lord is on your side in this hour your prayers are yes and amen in alignment with what the father has in his heart for you go to the secret place go to your room shut the door go wherever you can and have that go have that time in prayer with the lord in his presence so that he can give you the information download the information to download to to give you the answers to what to give you the words what he puts on your heart is what you are going to pray and speak it out loud okay because this is the manifestation this is the manifestation okay now you are god's mouthpiece god has given you that mouth to speak blessings not curses not just over others, but especially yourself. Be loving to yourself with your words, brothers and sisters in Christ, dear children. The heart of God is mercy for his children. Forgive yourselves and for, forget the past because the Lord is doing a brand new thing in this hour it is a now word it is a today word it is a now 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 word next level next level if um next level i looked up that definition it's idiomatic so it's the idea of significantly more more advanced better or more extreme okay <sighs> hallelujah so receive this word take it to the throne go to the father's feet in prayer and ask him to reveal what is on his heart for you today in this hour god bless you brothers and sisters heavenly father i pray that this word reaches the ears of everybody that you intended it to be for heavenly father in your perfect timing even if it's years later lord your word is everlasting heavenly father i pray that this word is in harmony without a shadow of a doubt being imparted imparted by your holy spirit father god for your precious children lord those
angels whom you've called in this hour for such a time as this to release your blessings, these tidal wave blessings upon blessings upon blessings. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Heavenly Father. All glory due to the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Because in John 15, verse 17, or verse 16, he says, You didn't choose me. I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit. So that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' holy, matchless name. This is my command. Love each other. It's a command, everybody. It's in the prayer. Put on the mind of Christ, the heart of Christ, of Jesus. To love one another as Jesus did for us on the cross. That the it's, Jesus said a brother, a true brother lays down, a true friend lays down his life for his friends. Okay? Jesus is your friend. Get it through your mind and your heart and receive it hold, wholeheartedly with with all your heart, mind, and strength. Love the Lord with all your heart, mind, and strength. Jesus is your friend. He's with you. He's for you. You cannot lose. You are operating from his spirit in victory. In victory. You are declared victorious. Brothers and sisters, I love you. Be encouraged today in this hour. This is a time-sensitive word from the moment you've received it and heard it with your ears. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Have a great day. So, brothers and sisters, I had to come back because the Lord said I was not finished. He wanted me to read. And so, in John 14, verse 26, it says, But when the Father sends the Advocate, as my representative, that is the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything. And I will remind you of everything I have told you. I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Remember what I told you. I am going away, but I will come back to you again. If you really love me, you would be happy for what I that I am going to the Father, who is greater than I am. I have told you these things before they happen, so that when they do happen, you will believe. I don't have much more time to talk to you because the ruler of this world approaches. He has no power over me, but I will do what the Father requires of me, so that the world will know that I love the Father Come, let's be going. See, that's confirmation. It's a now word and it's the Holy Spirit. Okay? And then he also said to read um, John 16. And he just reiterates, I have told you these things so that you won't abandon your faith. For you will be expelled from the synagogues. And the time is coming when those who who kill you will think they are doing a holy service for God. This is because they have never known the Father or me. Yes, I'm telling you these things now, so that when they happen, you will remember my warning. Warning. I didn't tell you earlier because I was going to be with you for a while longer. The work of the Holy Spirit. This is the work of the Holy Spirit, everybody. Verse 5, he says, But now I am going away to the one who sent me. And not one of you is asking where I am going. Instead, you grieve because of what I've told you. But in fact, there, it is best for you that I go away. Because if I don't, the advocate won't come. If I do go away, 
then I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world of its sins. So, and of God's righteousness and of the coming judgment. The world's sin is that it refuses to believe me. It refuses to believe me. Righteousness is available because I go to the Father and you will see me no more. Judgment will come because the ruler of this world has already been judged. There is much more I want to tell you. But you can't bear it now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own, but will tell you what he has heard. He will tell you about the future. The Holy Spirit will tell you about the future. Verse 14. He will bring me glory by telling you whatever he receives from me. All that belongs to the Father is mine. This is why I said the Spirit will tell you whatever he receives from me. So take heart, dear children. I have overcome the world. I am with you. And you shall not, you will not be forsaken. Because I am with you. Jesus already defeated the cross. He already defeated death on the cross. And it is finished. I tell you the truth. You will weep and mourn over what is going to happen to me. But the world will rejoice. You will grieve. But your grief will suddenly turn to wonderful joy. It will be like a woman suffering the pains of labor when her child is born. Her anguish gives away to joy because she has brought a new baby into the world. So you have sorrow now, but I will see you again. Then you will rejoice and no one can rob you of that joy. At that time, you won't need to ask me for anything. I will tell you the truth. I tell you the truth, I will ask the Father directly and he will grant your requests before you use my name. Because you use my name. You haven't done this before. Ask using my name and you will receive. And you will have abundant joy. I have spoken of these matters in figures of speech but soon I will stop speaking figuratively and I will tell you plainly about the Father then you will ask in my name I'm not saying I will ask the Father on your behalf for the Father himself loves you dearly because you love me and believe that I came from God yes I came from the Father into the world, and now I leave you. Now I leave the world and return to the Father. Then his disciples said, At least you are speaking plainly and not figuratively. Now we understand that you know everything, and there's no need to question you. From this we believe that you came from God. Jesus asked, Do you finally believe? But the time is coming. Indeed, indeed, it is. it's here now. Indeed, it's here now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He said that's the title. When, when you will be scattered, each one going his own way, leaving me alone. Yet I am not alone because the Father's with me. I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. 
a prayer a pr and now this is John 17 a pr the prayer of Jesus after saying all these things Jesus looked up to heaven and said father the hour has come glorify your son so he can give glory back to you Holy Spirit saying answered prayers answered prayers manifestations are here now in this hour children take heart posture your hearts be in position be in the th in the in the throne room in the in the presence of God be at the mercy of his feet surrender to his will the will of the only one who knows it all the alpha the omega the alpha and omega the beginning and the end Jesus Christ of Nazareth the time is now Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so he can give glory back to you. For you have given him authority over everyone. He gives eternal life to each one of you. To each one you have given him. And this way, and, and this is the way to have eternal life. To know you, the only true God. And Jesus Christ, the one who sent, the one you sent to earth. I brought glory to you here on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. I have revealed you to the ones you, you gave me from this world. They were always yours. You gave them to me. And they have kept your word. Now they know that everything I have is a gift from you. For I have passed on to them the message you gave me. They accepted it. And know that I came from you. And they believe you sent me. My prayer is not for the world, but for those you have given me. Because they belong to you. All who are mine belong to you. And you have given them to me. So they bring me glory. Now I am departing from the world. They are staying in this world, but I am coming to you. Holy Father, you have given me your name. Now protect them by the power of your name so that they will be united just as we are. During discord, yes, Holy Spirit, discord among brethren needs to stop now in Jesus' name. During, verse 12, during my time here, I protected them by the power of the name you gave me. I guarded them so that no one was lost, except the one headed for destruction, as the scriptures foretold. Now I am coming to you. I told them many things while I was with them in this world, so they would be filled with my joy. I have given them your word. And the world hates them because they do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. I am asking you to take them out of the world. I'm not asking you to take them out of the world, but keep them safe from the evil one. They do not belong to this world any more than I do. Make them holy by your truth. Teach them your word, which is truth. Just as you sent me into the world, I am sending them into the world. And I give myself as a holy sacrifice for them so they can be made holy by your truth. I am praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me in their me message. I pray that they will be, I pray that they will all be one just as you and I are one, as you are in me, Father, and I am in you, and may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I, yes, Holy Spirit, he said, finish the chapter. I have given them the glory you gave me, 
so they may be as one as we are one. I am in them and you are in me. May they experience such perfect unity that the world will not know that that the world will know that you sent me and that you love them as much as you love me. Father, I want these whom you have given me to be where I am. Then they can see all the glory you gave me because you loved me even before the world began. Oh, righteous Father, the world doesn't know you, but I do. And these disciples know you sent me. I have revealed you to them, and I will continue to do so. Then your love for me will be in them, and I will be in them. Amen.